Hi, kitty cats. Today is April 25th, 2024, and I want to talk about why I chose to go to Thailand for surgery as opposed to staying in the United States. Because you see, I live in Colorado, and in Colorado, at least with my insurance policy, there is only one major like surgery clinic that my insurance will cover. This clinic is not dedicated to gender-affirming care. It is a standard reconstructive surgery clinic. And as a result, all of their transgender care is on a wait list. Like they, when I called them and said, I'd like a consultation, they said, okay, we'll put you on the wait list. It's bound to take somewhere about a year and a half to get the consultation. And I asked, well, how long is it going to take after that? And they said, they can't tell me because it's a wait list. But anywhere between another two years to maybe four after I get the consultation. So I'm looking at anywhere between three years and maybe six to get this surgery. As a result, I chose to look outside Colorado and I found a great place. I really clicked with the surgeon and my insurance claim was denied. So I appealed it and I said, hey, look, it's gonna take as much as six years to get this surgery. And they said that was acceptable. This is not life-threatening um, surgery. This is not a life-threatening condition. This is, this is non-essential surgery. It is cosmetic. And so they're not going to cover an out-of-network provider. My uh, doctor, my, G my GP, actually told me recently that there is a law that says, you know, in unreasonable uh, weight or cost, your insurance is supposed to, to cover that. Mine is not because transgender care is apparently non-essential. Um, I have much more I could say about that, but I think I'll leave it for today. Bye.